Okay, I think it's time to build a website with some 3D elements, and I'm gonna do so without writing any code. Web design looks so much better when you add 3D elements, such as 3D text, 3D characters, and 3D icons. In this video, I'll show you how you can do that. This is a Spline. It's a website where you can build different 3D elements or use ones that have already been generated or created by other users. What makes Spline design different than other 3D software is that it allows you to export to the web. First, we'll head to Spline. If you don't have an account, just click get started. This is the Spline dashboard. There's lots of cool things here, but I'm going to head over to community and then select to explore because there's lots of community projects which I can use as inspiration or even just for this website I want to make because there's pretty much no chance of me creating something in 3D that doesn't look like a seven-year-old kid drawing. I decided to go with this rocket design because I like space themes. Here, I get a preview of what it actually looks like. I can move it around, I can see its animations, and I can consider what this might look like once I've placed it into a real website. And let me just confirm that this is definitely a spaceship and it doesn't look like anything else. But now to use it, I'm gonna select a remix. This takes you into the 3D creation tool. Now, I don't really know any 3D 3D, so I'm just going to skip most of this and I just want to export this to start using within an actual page. I'm going to select export here at the top right and head over to the viewer option. I want to embed this into a new website and there's some script to do this. I can also customize it. So under the play settings, I'm going to select not to have a logo and to remove the background color. In the future, I might remove things like page scroll, but I'm going to update this and head over to the overview and select the code to export and then place into my own project. So I'm going to head over to my no code platform of choice, which is Wix Studio. It's pretty quick and simple to get a new site up and running in just a minute. I'm going to select to create a new site. And for this site, I'm just going to start from a blank canvas. Now here inside of the editor, I'm going to select to add a brand new element. And for this element, I'm just going to use an iframe, which also doubles as a code block. I'm going to select to edit the code and I'm going to paste in the code that Spline provided earlier. I'll select update and that's it. I've got now my 3D element on the page ready to be used. Let's actually make this look more like a website. I'm going to add a text element on top of the 3D element and I'm going to give this the name of space design. This could be an agency or something cool. I just like space in general, so I definitely think this is the name to go along with this 3D item. I'm going to expand out this text and right now it's kind of in front of the 3D element. So I'm going to head over to the layers and I'm going to move it below. So this way the actual icon for the 3D element is kind of imposed on top of the text. So it gives this kind of 3D look. I'm also going to make the background black, which means that I need to select the text and make that a white color, because obviously for a space theme, you'd need a black background. Another thing I can do is head over to the background of this section and select to use a better background image. There's a few here to choose from. I'm just going to select the very first one because it kind of uses the same colors as the rocket itself. It's way too bright and vibrant though. So what I'm going to do is turn down the opacity to about 30% and that way it kind of just blends into the background. Okay, let's make this website look even better. I'm going to jump into Midjourney and use the AI art here to generate a night sky full of stars and an aurora. This meant that I could create this good looking image here, which I can now use as the background of the website. So I'm going to save this image in a web browser. It's quite high resolution. And then I'm going to upload it here to the site itself. Once uploaded, I can now use this as the background. It fits really nicely with the image of the spaceship. And I think we're pretty much done here. I'd like to thank Hannah who gave the inspiration for this project and showed me how it can be done. You can check out her work on Twitter and I'll link it in my description. And finally, if you want to learn more about design, check out Enhance UI. It's designed for developers, a book I put together which teaches you color theory, topography, components, and much more. I've put it on sale for the next couple of weeks. And if you want to learn how to make better looking websites or just support the channel, this is definitely the way.